Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Good evening, people of God. Welcome again to Stepping on the High Waters. And uh, I must say to those of you who did not see the program last week, compliments of the season, I want to wish you a happy 2022. And I want to declare that this season will not pass you by. This season must not pass you by. Yes, I am Minister Patricia Venus Henry of Stepping of the, on the High Waters Founder and Founder of Laborers in the Vineyard and also a Minister at Divine Destiny Restoration Worship Center, Storby Local Road, Crown Point. And I'm here to say to you and I, God cares in 2022. God cares for us in 2022. God cares about our well-being in 2022. God cares about what is happening to us negative and positively in 2022. And I want to say a great 2022 to you and your household. Let God manifest in your homes in your lives for 2022. Whatever he is saying to you and I, let us be very intentional to let him have his way because he wants to build capacity in us. He wants to give us that ability to run the race and not be weary. He also wants us to accomplish what we didn't before. And even those who accomplish, he wants us to accomplish in 2022. He wants us to stand firm, stand our grounds on whatever it is that we are going through. Stand firm, stand on his word. He will never let the righteous fall. And it does not matter, not that it does not matter, but if we put all the emphasis on what is happening to us and we are not putting emphasis on God's word, we are not putting emphasis on what God is saying to us in this hour, we will miss our season. The shift has already taken place. Be a part of the shift. Be a part of the shift for God cares for his people in 2022 now that he didn't care for us before he always cares for us but because of what is happening around us the feeling of death the feeling of sickness that feeling of pain in the heart god is saying to you and i he cares for us we are always in his heart and i want to read again from psalms psalm 55 psalm 55 that, that psalm of David, chief musician, we want to read it again. And I trust that this time, if it's the first time you are hearing it, let us read it with such passion that you know in your heart that God cares beyond what we are going through. He cares beyond. And he's never going to leave us to suffer just like that without watching over us, without coming and intervene in our circumstances, in our situation. So Psalm 55 says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of the voice of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked for they cast iniquity upon me 
and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pain within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror had overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then will I fly away and be at rest. God knows that some of us want to fly away and be at rest. God knows that some of us are in horror. Horror is overwhelming us. God knows that our heart is paining us as never before. Some of us never experience a pain heart like this COVID season. God cares. He cares. He cares. He cares. The situation may be of such that you feel that he, does. he cares. Brother and sister, he cares. Family members, he cares. And if we are intentional each day to say in spite, in spite, in spite, in spite, in spite, oh God, you care. You care. God, you care about my situation. God, you cares about our needs and our wants. God, you care about what is happening around us in our homes, on our jobs, wherever, on the street, wherever you care. God cares. And as David says, give ear to my prayer. Give ear. He's asking God, hear me now. Hear me, Lord. Hear me. Hear me. Pay attention to what I'm saying to you. Pay attention. Lord, you're hearing me. Pay attention. I'm asking God to pay attention to my situation. And, and he's asking God, God, don't hide yourself. God must always be there. His presence must always be there. He wants to lodge his complaint. He wants to deliver his complaint to God. He wants to, God to know what is happening in his heart. Yeah? He said, attend unto me, Lord. So he wants God to know that whatever he is going through, that God must be right there hearing. So he's saying, attend. What does attend mean? What does attend mean? You're paying attention. You're coming and look. Uh, as in, in our um, talk, we will say, forget all those things and attend to me. See, you're going to the shop and you're waiting to be attended to. You're going to the bank and you are waiting to be attended to. You're going to the hospital and you are sitting there steaming, fuming, you are waiting to be attended to and you cannot wait to hear your name call John Smith Farmer Brown whatever your name is Jeanette Ali whatever your name is you are waiting to be attended by the physician and this is what you want God you are, he's asking God to attend unto me you know bypass everything else Leave everything else and attend to me because I'm hurting. My heart is bleeding. I am suffocating. I am suffering, Lord. So you say, attend to me. Attend to me, Lord. Hear me. Hear my cry. And God wants us to cry out to him in this 2022. As we were saying last week, 2022, God wants us to finish strong. 2022 is the year for us to finish strong in this pandemic. Whatever God is saying to us to do, finish strong. Even though we are getting licks after licks by whatever means, God still wants us to come out strong. He still wants us to come out on top. Because we are his people. He does not want us to fall. He does not want to see his people fall because he's right there to pick us up. 
He's right there waiting to hug us, to hold us, because he wants to mold us in his way. Amen? So another thing is that verse 22 says, cast your burdens unto him. He cares. Cast your burdens unto him because why? He cares. He always cares. If you did not hear anything else, he cares. Yes, I know it's a simple message, but there are people right now who needs to hear just a simple word that somebody loves them. Somebody cares for them. And it is so refreshing to know that God loves you. God cares for you and I. He loves us. He loves us. He loves us. And that is why each day we awaken, we have to thank him. We have to thank him. We have to thank him. We have to tell him how we love him. We have to acknowledge him. Acknowledge him in our lives. He gave us breath. He gave us strength. So even though in the sorrow, even though in the pain heart, even if you have to groan it, thank your father. Sometimes you don't feel like because the pain is so high, the pain is so strong. You say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you, Jesus. God, I love you. And I know that you love me, Lord. I know you love me, Lord. So we have to be intentional. And if we practice it daily, if we keep practicing it daily, day after day after day, it will become a part of us. It will become a daily routine for us to tell God that we love him. And as we go with this prayer, we are intentional in how we say to God, what we say. And when we want God to hear us, we, our approach to God, well, sometimes our approach may not be sweet because of the pain and the agony. But if we just allow God to love us up, if we just allow God, we will see how God will bring that peace upon the situation. He will bring that peace in your heart. You're hungry, yes. You are so hungry. Nothing for the children to eat. The peace of God will come upon you because God will send someone as you pray in your distress. As you pray in your supplication, as you supplicate, God will send help. And sometimes the help is not where, who I should say that you want the help from. But guess what? It is help. It is help. Once it's good help, it is help. You and that person may not be on speaking terms. You and that family member may not be going down, but it is help. It is help. Once it is good help, once it is clean help, it is help. Well, if you know the help is not clean, please. Do not take the people food. So cast your burden onto him, for he cares. Continue to acknowledge him in your cry, in your pain, in your oppression. When the voice of the enemy comes to you to saturate your spirit, saturate your mind, have your body trembling. Listen, in your heart, acknowledge him as daddy. You keep acknowledging, acknowledging him as daddy in this new season. For he is going to come true for you and I. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know in this season, many of us want to fly away. If we had wings, we were going to fly away. But having wings does not say that we will land safe wherever. 
having wings to fly flying away does not say running away does not say that we will be still safe wherever if you know you will be safe fine but if you are not sure of yourself if you are not sure of the situation stay put and let God lead let God make the pathway clear let God do what he has to do <coughs> excuse me take the molding take the, the shuffling take the fixing God is lifting and fixing things and when he wants us to settle down we need to settle down so as we continue to cast our burden we shall be sustained in him he will keep us <coughs> excuse me he will protect us from harm and danger whatever is coming to knock us down <coughs> excuse me whatever is coming to knock us down god is there with us excuse me he is always there to cover us he's there always to cover us so be at peace be at rest give it all to him in this time in this season as we see God's face as we go deeper God will direct our steps he will direct our path do not rush the brush if you are in class a fine if you are in class b fine whatever stage you are in stay in your lane do not try to jump ship too quick let god do the leading let god do the guiding because sometimes we are in the womb and the hour is not yet let us continue yes i know the pain is excruciating yes i know the situation is overwhelming but sometimes when we when we move i should say before time when we interfere with that tomato and it's not fully full we have to throw it because it's not full you notice when you you pick a a, a chenet and it's not full it's not ripe you'll have to spit it out you have to throw it away you wasted it so let us not waste our process let us get everything that we need to get out of that processing and you know you and i we know that we don't like the processing period but we have to come to that place where we take the processing well and you know we can say that very well but there is always a but to go through it it's pressure but guess what as we say as we said before we are going to go forward in 2022 in spite of we are going to go forward because what god cares and he will make us into that beautiful flower that he intend to 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 to, to put us in 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 a sweet jar you know what do we do with flour we put it in a corner we place it on a wall we put it on in a corner on the ground we display it we display it and even self you display it for you to see someone else may come and see the displayed flowers so god wants to display us in his way his own way and let us take the processing because listen you know when we are in his face he make us more beautiful we come out beautiful 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 so i urge you and i this evening to i will use the same word again be intentional in our doings be intentional in our crying to god because we want to come out from this situation we want to go to the next step we want to move up the ranks in the classroom 
We want to move up. We want to move from elementary up to intermediate and those in intermediate up to advanced level. But the processing to get there, there is a process. It's always a process. There is always a process. And we need to walk in that process. God is our helper. He is our helper. He is there in the time of need and we have to recognize that. Yes, you may say, and I heard that message over and over and over, but God still wants us to hear it because he cares for us. He cares with what is happening with us. He cares that we are not in that place where we ought to be. He cares. He cares because he loves us. He loves us unconditionally. He loves us. I was telling a sister that I was sharing with a sister. I said, yes, there are times when we want this deep revelation, this deep, 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 deep revelation, and yet we cannot acknowledge the simple, simple ones. We want this deep, deep revelation, but things are, things are knocking us over. Things are making our heart bleed. Things are making us mourn. Things are making us, even in our complaint, we are mourn. We mourning in the complaint. Our heart is breaking. And we are begging God. We are begging God. We are begging God. And God saying, I love you. Simple words, but profound. I love you. Sandra, I love you, Peter. I love you, Janet. I love you, Isaac. I love each and every one of you because you all are mine. You all are mine. I hear your prayers. I attend to your prayers. I hear your mourning. I attend to your mourning. I heard of your supplication. I am attending. I'm hearing it. I hear it and I'm not hiding myself from you. I am not hiding myself from your supplication. I am not hiding. I am always right next to you. I am right next to you. I am right next to you. I'm going to say it again. He's right next to you and I. He's not far, far away. He's not far away. He himself is hearing the noise. He himself is hearing your heart beating. He himself is just hearing your cry. He's seeing us crying. And 2022 is for us to believe God at his word. Acknowledge him who he is in our life. Acknowledge his word in our life. Believe that we're going to finish strong in 2022. Believe that that book that you are writing will finish. God will put the words in your mouth. Believe that that letter that you have still trying to figure out how to just cry to him and he would give you the encouragement he would show you how he would show you that know-how how to phrase that letter how to write how to pen he would show you how to pen as we cry out to him he would show you and i how to the know-how because he's shifting gears he's shifting things he's putting things in perspective he's putting things in his right place in his right order that you and i can come out unscratched god is fixing you and i in this hour yes we all make mistakes he cares he sees the mistakes he sees where we, we, we drop back, drop back in reading of the word, drop back in worshiping him, drop back in going to church, drop back in speaking to someone about his love. He sees and he knows and he also cares for us. And he's saying, remember, remember, I love you. 
Remember, children, I care for you in your time of grief, in your times of, of, of mourning, in your time of bawling. He cares. <coughs> Excuse me. He loves you. He hears your voice. He hears our voices. Continue to be at his feet. Be like Mary and continue to sit at his feet in the name of Jesus. His precious name. I pronounce God loves, loving you, will continue. I pronounce his blessing upon you. His love always stands strong. I pronounce that your heart will be mended. I pronounce that your tears will be dried up. I pronounce that your feet, your feet that makes for walking and standing and moving, that it will begin. It will begin to move. It, it will begin to move. They, they will begin to move in the right direction in the name of Jesus. Continue to cast your, care, your, your cares. Continue to cast your burden unto Jesus continue he is catching your tears in the palm of his hands he's catching your tears in his hands he is catching your tears you and I our tears are in the palm of his hands and he's taking them so God is still standing with you and I in every situation Oh my God, bless him, bless him, bless him. Continue to thrive, continue to thrive, continue to worship. I declare that your worship will increase. I declare that your prayer life will increase in the precious name of Jesus. I declare that you will remain strong. You will remain strong in this hour and God is going to visit you. He is going to reveal himself to you in a magnificent way in the precious name of Jesus. He is going to order your steps in the way you should go and in the way you should grow in this hour. So continue to watch on him. Continue to keep your eyes fixed on him. Continue to look in that direction. Do not lose your focus in the name of Jesus. So I declare God's blessings upon you. I declare his strength. I declare his glory in the precious name of Jesus. Continue to stay safe. Continue to stay strong in this hour. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. See you next time. Blessings. I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.